Very good morning. Welcome to Breakfast with Dan Walker and Louise Minchin. Headlines for you at six o'clock this morning. The number of people sleeping rough in England may be nine times the government's official estimate, according to a new report from a cross-party committee of MPs. An Australian bird is now so critically endangered that it's at risk of forgetting its own song. Yes. Um, anyway, here's Carol. Okay, Carol, any, any, any honey-eater <laughs> knowledge? Thank you, Carol. On the on the other side on the other side of that, Dan, you could say that they could maybe not use their cars. It, is the point? Of that it. is the entire there we go. two sides of the argument. Let us know Lit what you the think. Touch paper. Uh, should we have a look at what the papers are talking about? That's something we'll be talking about later in the programme as well. We're going to return to the story we mentioned about Uber now, which said it will give its UK drivers a guaranteed minimum wage. Go on. You, you We've got Ka time. Carol, just very quickly, listen in. You know, I mentioned this curry house earlier that's, that's planning on delivering curries <laughs> via drone. There you go. We'll be talking to uh, Kwasi Kwarteng from the government about that at 7.30 this morning, amongst other things. Uh, right now, the news, the travel and the weather, wherever you're watching us, we'll have the headlines at 7. Uh, more than 70,000 Uber drivers across the UK will start receiving the minimum legal wage from today, along with paid holiday and pension rights. See you in about half an hour's time. Thanks. Let's take you uh, back to our main story now and those uh, 18 European countries which have stopped using the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine despite assurances. That's the, dedication yeah, 70 I'm times, impressed. isn't that, it? That shows the importance of the haircut, <laughs> Alexandra. Thank I was you determined. Very. Well, good on you. You, you got through, you booked one, didn't you, for four uh, they, weeks they rang, the back, <laughs> they rang me back and when the phone went, I was so excited. We'll talk to Sally in a second, but just to let you know, I'm coming up in, I think it's in the next few, next 10 minutes or so, we're talking Ooh, yeah. specifically about so many people obviously beginning to go back to work again, perhaps for the first time in a year. You might have got yourself a lockdown companion. Joining us, the best of luck. So just remember, couch to 5K for dogs, just start with small amounts of time. It's always a little bit to start with and then it gets there in the end. Uh, stay with us, we've got the headlines coming up for you very shortly. <laughs> the Cosmic Key... <laughs> Courtney Cox was in it. Anyway, Carol. Yeah, the weather. Okay, <laughs> for Christmas, all right. As if we had somewhere to play Gosh. those. Uh, we can hardly contain it. We're still friends over here, Carol. Why, just. Are you, why are you laughing so much, Carol? Thank you very much. You just made me laugh. Later on. Um, it's uh, 13 minutes past eight, and you are watching BBC Breakfast. Get some news, some travel, and some weather wherever you're watching Breakfast this morning. See you in a few minutes' time. Uh, feisty arguments taking place not, not only on those roads that Justin was on but also on social media this morning on that precise topic. Oh, should we talk to Sally? It's not just actors who are suffering of course, also those who tend to get less limelight, all the technicians, stagehands, costume designers and musicians. Um, you, they mentioned lots of those people um, in that video about feeling like a family and that's what's really, that's really important isn't it? It was, it was widely praised at the time, has that made much of a difference? Has that had an impact? I'm sure it's had an impact. 70 years since Dennis the Menace first appeared in The Beano and he's still causing as much mischief, mischief as he ever did. In his CBBC TV show. We've got a ten-year-old in our house, Louise, who loves The Beano. He literally runs to the front door oh, when comes I used to the love Beano. The Beano. Um, let's speak now to the editor of The Beano, Mike Sterling, and also to the YouTuber and Strictly star Health Secretary Matt Hancock has insisted the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine is safe and urged all UK citizens to get the jab as soon as it's offered. So not many school bands would have the nerve to ask one of the UK's biggest stars to collaborate on a project. That's Does that make you feel better? Yes, that makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> uh, that's enough from us, I think. Um, see you uh, tomorrow. Yeah, breakfast <laughs> is back tomorrow from six. And right now on BBC One, it's time for Morning Live with Kim and Gethin.